I have a, about a two inch um, cut where the cancer was and then a slightly longer cut where the lymph nodes came out just to check that they were okay and it hadn't spread and they healed fairly quickly really they they weren't a problem at all In two or three weeks they were almost not you know you couldn't really see them very much It was, it was strange because I've never had an operation before. I've not had anything medical really at all. I've been very lucky. So everything was just quite interesting to see how everything worked. Before we did sentinel node biopsies, it was standard practice to take all the lymph nodes away. And um, that left patients with potentially quite serious side effects. So a lot of, a uh, much bigger scar, more pain, shoulder stiffness, but um, some patients developed lymphedema, which is swelling of the entire arm, and that can really affect quality of life. So the introduction of sentinel node biopsy was actually revolutionary for breast surgery because it meant you only needed to check a few lymph nodes and if they were normal you don't need to remove the entire auxiliary um, all the lymph nodes which which means less pain a quicker recovery a lower chance of lymphedema there is something here i think that might be it it is also looks a bit vascular to me It's a big node, isn't it? Can you just put that aside for a second? And it's very crucial that we have this information because it tells us if a cancer is very early, just in the breast, or a bit more advanced because it's gone to the armpit. And that gives us information about their, their future um, prognosis, their survival, and it will impact on whether they need further treatment like chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Too fast, speaking all right. One of the benefits of MagTrace is it's not radioactive, it's an inert um, liquid, it's basically liquid iron. So it can be stored for a long time, it can be stored easily. So, unlike radioactivity, it doesn't need any special equipment. And when it's injected into the breast in the patient, it's picked up by the lymphatics and it taken to the axilla. We just keep it in a cupboard in our clinic and I'm in control of using it. So I can see a patient one day, give them the diagnosis, I can book them for surgery and I can inject the mag trace myself in the clinic. And the other thing it does is it provides an audio signal. As the probe approaches iron, which is in the mag trace, it magnetizes the iron and creates a signal and then you get a very loud audio cue and you can see in the machine that we've maxed out it's quite nice actually because you can see the numbers coming down when the probe moves away the material itself is not particularly um, expensive but it is very complicated to make um, and and also you know you're injecting this into the body um, it's it's you know got to be very you know sterile it has to go through a very uh, involved manufacturing process. The, the important thing about the, um, the material though is it can sit on the shelf for, you know, for years before you use it. And so, um, and it can be shipped and transported anywhere. So, nu and if you compare that to nuclear medicine, you know, basically you need to be next to a nuclear medicine center, you have to use it within you know, the day that you've made it, and it has a six hour half-life. You know, MagTrace maintains its magnetic characteristics so it can be detected so you can find nodes you know, for, for weeks after it's injected and it can sit on the shelf for, for years. It's very hard. That's one lymph node. There isn't a signal from that and it may be because it's got cancer in it. It's just so the signal's not going into it, which sometimes... Yeah, central, yeah. Um, palpable node. Palpable, palpable yeah, node. Yeah, palpable node. So you can hear there's a signal from here. So some mag trace has made it into this lymph node. 
And we know that because it looks a bit rusty coloured and also because there's a signal. So people have actually been using MagTray successfully for endometrial cancer, for melanoma, for head and neck cancers, for prostate cancers. Um, the reason we very much focused on, on breast cancer is, you know, any time you're trying to develop or introduce a new technology, it, you need a, a load of, of clinical evidence to convince people to adopt a new technology. And we focused on breast to really establish ourselves there first. But in the meantime, clinicians have said, well, this is an obvious thing to do if we're looking to find lymph nodes too. And so they've since done a lot of clinical development around using MagTrace in, in those settings. And we will you know, eventually get around to um, developing all of our offerings for, for other indications. But breast cancer is our, our primary focus. And I wasn't allowed to drive until I'd had a checkup in early May. And then after that, apparently, if you can do a, um, an emergency stop, you're OK to drive. Uh, my hardest thing was to work out where I could do an emergency stop without cre creating havoc. Hello, Indians. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You look very well. So I thought we'd talk about the operation a bit now yes. that it's been a few months and find out how you're feeling yeah. and how you think the operation went. I think it went extremely well. 